yeah, new experience to hold it by online. However, President Frederick Bosch, Professor Hyunkan Kim, Dr. Yosen Taitzer, Dr. Benny Raphael, and all the board members of IR suggested and encouraged us to hold the online symposium with a great and kind of cooperation. In this the online symposium, of course, I was not able to participate in all the sessions, but at least the sessions I participated in a couple of days were learning online smoothly without any big troubles. The Q&A sessions were well managed with the chat function of the Zoom. I would like to deeply appreciate the big effort of all the session chairs and all the staffs of this symposium, overcoming the various problems caused by the communication troubles over time difference or so on. I imagine most of the staff haven't slept enough since last night. I believe that a lot of knowledge and information presented and discussed in this symposium will definitely contribute to the future evolution of the construction robot. But now, I'm very happy that the, we are able to pass the battle to the next year's symposium that will help be held at the Dubai United Arab Emirates without interrupting the flow of rapid evolution of construction robots. So I hope some day we will have the opportunity to hold the face-to-face -face meeting symposium in Japan. At that time, I guess the, that a lot of the practical robot will be waiting for you. Again, I would like to thank all the persons who made big effort to organize the symposium and also thanks to all the participants who present your variable research. Thank you indeed. Thank you, Professor Tayama. Um, you brought it, uh, you made the point uh, about initiating this process with a proposal a few years back. And um, I think um, we would be glad from an IARC organization and Professor Koshi will have a couple of words towards that to have you or oh, Japan has a, as a host in the future. Um, in the process of this uh, closing ceremony, I have put a couple of slides together uh, because we had quite a bit of time, as you mentioned, the last few hours to think about what has been done. And it would have not been possible with your team. Uh, that's very clear. Um, Professor Tateyama, uh, because you have been organizing the uh, papers, paper collection and paper reviews. We had, or actually I was being able to pull this information off of EasyChair. Um, you had 384 submissions. There were a total over a thousand reviews. Close to a thousand external reviews were taken and uh, papers accepted were 221. Of course, there might have been a few that actually were not being submitted because of the uh, COVID situation. Needless, nevertheless to say, uh, there was a, a quite a high quality on good submissions. All papers have been put online and this is not uh, for granted to take. Uh, IARC has struggled with that for a number of years, but we've come in the past three, four years to this position that we can put all of these papers online ahead of the conference so it's easy for the participants to browse through them when they plan the attendance of sessions. That's a major accomplishment that very few other organizations in the construction community actually can say from it. Also that we have linked all of the papers to um, uh, the proper referencing systems. That's also a major accomplishment we are proud of. Um, yeah, you have organized the reviews. I'm not going into the details, there's certainly room for improvement on the behalf of IARC. And uh, yeah, that will happen in the near future. We are very critical on that end in terms of improving what we can do better from an IARC's perspective. We have learned this through your conference and through our efforts as well. 
Here are statistics to the distribution of authors. I hope I don't bore you with that. Uh, but this is again information pulled from EasyChair. This is not the numbers of papers based on their origin. This is the numbers of authors who have submitted. You can see here a clear trend that most of the authors came from Japan. The second highest, the United States, perhaps Germany, followed by South Korea, Canada, Australia, and a couple others. I must say, we are from Denmark, we have improved too. We have a couple of friends from other universities in Denmark and we will contribute too. But everybody here on this list is from a different country. And this is nice about this Isaac 2020 online. It is truly a worldwide event, but it has been close until the end of this session. Um, again, we want to thank your team, Professor Tateyama, but we also want to contribute or acknowledge the contributions of the other students who have helped uh, for most. Uh, the Indian Institute of Technology, IIT Madras. You see a couple of faces up here. I'm sure there are more. And I want to thank personally very much Emil and Nikolai, uh, who have helped tremendously put the program and the online sessions together. I can tell you without those two guys, none of us would be in this situation. And I'm relieved that none of this, uh, what has been done in the past couple of uh, hours, um, has led to a major issue of uh, Zoom breakdowns or anything like that, which all of us were afraid of. And thank you, Professor Tatayama, for your nice email that you have sent to us. Um, that was really uh, nicely articulated. And I'm just forwarding this to everybody who has contributed uh, to this online event. Um, Emil did a, a, a finding that it would have been almost impossible to actually schedule the perfect online session for uh, to accommodate all of the needs of everyone. Uh, we came up with a very um, confined schedule, but I hope everybody enjoyed it. Also that the presentations were only eight minutes long. Um, I think that was a choice on purpose, but it uh, hopefully has increased the quality. However, we know we can improve, not just we personally from organizing, but also IARC as a whole, which includes you. So our goal is to make it better make it better every time. And that's why your feedback is really important. We thought about putting up a survey monkey online uh, questionnaire, but you know, most of you don't fill those out, but we would highly appreciate if each one of you, at least you who are attending could fill this out and just share the good things, but more importantly, anything you think can be improved. And again, your name will not be mentioned and it's not important for us who says it, but it's important that we hear about it. That's why send it to us in an informal way. This email address is online uh, for the next couple of weeks, but share with us in the next week. And I tell you, we will make the next ISAC, whoever will organize it better as a whole. Thank you. Okay, I'm moving forward. Um, just not too long, but the IARC board of directors have met, some strategic decisions have been made. Um, that will impact future ISACs. I'm not repeating that, uh, but you, you, you see how many people are involved over the world and we want to make ISAC even better. I just want to reiterate that. About the speakers and participants. Yes, we all stayed hopefully safe. None of us had uh, any issue. I took this image from a participant. He also is safe. Hopefully we all are in the future so we can meet again. We had great interactions among session chairs and the participants very lively discussions. And we had a lot of fun, as you hopefully can see from this snapshot I've taken, and sorry, I've taken the liberty to post them here, but it shows the passion we have about ISAC and IARC. Um, and um, yes, I just want to show that. Um, I want to highlight just a few screenshots. There are numerous more papers that could be shown here. Um, I like this presentation about uh, scanning a tree um, and making sure we can actually drill proper holes or whatever. Uh, I found it very innovative because Denmark, we don't have a big forest, but we are striving for growing things that are sustainable and making sure, um, yeah, um, you all know uh, the climate change. So there were numerous other presentations that presented outstanding stuff. This is not the time to repeat this. Read it, read it up. Ah. Never has this graph been shown, and I've putting this together with the students, with Emil and Nikolai, showing the participation over time. And I hope you don't mind sharing this. 
we had a couple of keynotes, Professor Kim. Oh, what a wonderful personality in terms of communication, the style of communication. I love it. Uh, Mr. Sato, your presentation on uh, going to space. Uh, yeah, we have recorded those. Uh, you hopefully have your permission in sharing that probably on an IARC YouTube channel. We may open up. Uh, Dr. Nita, your presentation today. Yes, time was limited, but it tells us how fragile our environment is and what we have to do in circumstances to, to, pre to protect people. Very nice. Overall, this we can share those slides afterwards, but you see here the trend over the time. I was afraid that we have a decline in participation, but I would say this final session here, I was estimating we have 29, 92 participants. Now we have 94 if I look up on the screen. So my estimate was fine. It flattens out. Participation was constant throughout the day. Of course, earlier this morning, there was a little bit less according to Japanese standard time, but we have made it up. So congratulations to everyone. This is in all of the regions around the world, a major effort. Maybe a few more statistics and I'm stopping in a second. Um, this is some growing numbers. I'm proud of all of them. Um, one IARC just online, sorry, one ISAC just online, one and a half days of presentations, three keynotes, three main tracks, four awards that will be presented next by our president and vice president uh, for, 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 for the conference. Um, yeah, then we have two things I don't like. As four session shares didn't show up or didn't tell us. That was okay. We, we covered that. We planned for some interruptions, but 19 presenters didn't show up. So, uh, yes, 57 sessions, 221 papers, uh, roughly 884 questions were asked. Overall, in all sessions, we had 2,071 participants. Of course, many of them were the same. We had here uh, the sessions with the highest attendance was session number 16 from Benny Raphael. Don't ask me why, but this is just like it is. We had some machine learning applied. Don't ask me how this works, but it turned out. We have some honorable mentions for the session shares most liked or liked most. Uh, these were Daniel Hall, Sun Bu Kwon, uh, Thomas Lena and Markus König. So congratulations. Probably I'll have to invite you for a beer here in Aarhus uh, and there will not be an award. But again, some of you guys got uh, a good reception. We also have uh, honorable mentions for being the most active person in the chat and participation overall uh, from, from a participation side. Uh, Apana from IIT Madras, Wilson, who has been online, I don't know, for the entire time, even though he seems to come from Canada. So very impressive. And Takato Yasuno, uh, also from a company. You see there is impact from the industry as well. So congratulations to that. These are all the statistics I wanted to share. Now it's time to pass on the word to Professor Boucher. Um, I think he is hopefully able to speak and turn on his microphone. Frederick, would you mind going into this? That's not my resort, so go ahead. Well, thank you very much, Johan. I, I will uh, have some closing notes, so I will respond a little bit to some of your comments. Uh, but generally, I, I have been extremely pleased by this conference. It's a great success. Um, last but not least, maybe at the end of the conference is the uh, uh, the, the issue of the awards. Um, now, we will start with the best paper awards because we've already essentially covered the, the first award at the beginning of this uh, ISAR. Um, I should tell the audience that the best paper awards are awarded as a team. It's a team effort. Um, our colleagues in Japan who have handled all the uh, paper review have uh, essentially conducted a pre-selection of a short number of papers uh, that, that they thought were deserving of receiving a Best Paper Awards. Now, we would love to give Best Paper Awards to loads of people, but we have a tradition at HISAC to try to really highlight somewhere between one and three uh, Best Papers every year. Uh, we received this uh, selection from our colleagues and uh, we had the best paper award committee from the IARC board of uh, the IARC um, executive committee that is made up of myself, uh, Dr. Kim, as well as uh, Dr. Aikila. So uh, respectively, the president, the general secretary and the VP symposium for uh, the uh, IARC executive committee. 
uh, and we sat down and um, from the selection we received from our Japanese colleagues, uh, we decided in the end to award three best papers this year. Um, it's, we were very pleased actually with the initial selection and, and our, it was difficult for us to narrow things down, but we did have some consensus in the end uh, around certainly um, the top three papers. Um, and there was one of those papers that we thought should be really uh, brought forward as the very top papers. And we will award this last out of the three now. Um, do you have the slides, Johan? Do you have the uh, images or not? Yes, I do. Because you stopped sharing. Okay, can you go to the next? Okay, so our very, well, it's not the top, but one of the three best papers uh, that we award today uh, is to uh, our colleagues from Cambridge. Um, so this is going to be uh, Mrs. Aya Chak. Oopla. Excuse me for that, sorry. There you go. Mrs. Aya Shandra and uh, Professor Yanis Belakis for their paper on digital twinning of railway overhead line equipment from airborne LIDAR data. Um, just a few words about this paper uh, before I congratulate them uh, properly. Just to let you know, this paper presented a novel method to generate the digital twin of overlaid, sorry, overhead line equipment system in existing railways from point clouds acquired by the uh, airborne LIDAR data. Um, and then they tested this in a challenging case of 18 kilometers of railway and they achieved really good performance in uh, detection of the different uh, components, such as 93% F1 score for the OLE cables or the, the cables of the overhead line, uh, and even in excess of 98% for other components. Uh, we thought the paper was extremely good in terms of the research that was presented, as well as the way it was presented itself, so the writing of its work. So we would like to congratulate uh, the two authors uh, for this best paper, and uh, if one of you, um, I believe, uh, maybe Maandrini, you on the line, I don't know if Professor uh, Belakis is here as well, but if you want to uh, say a few words, we would very much welcome that. I see you are, yeah, you're good to go. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the ISAC organizing committee and everyone who has uh, put a lot of effort to this conference as well. And yeah, thank you for your appreciation uh, towards our paper. And if Dr. Yanis uh, would I, like to say a few. I don't know if Yanis yet. Hi, Mahadrini. Thanks. Uh, I, I thought you covered it. Uh, yeah, so this is a very interesting piece of work from the perspective that it's very hard to find cables from uh, point clouds. I mean, it's really, really very few points we're looking at in these situations. And it, it was a very challenging problem to begin with. And I think the reason it worked out very well is that it wasn't a data-driven approach. It was a model-based approach whereby since we knew where to expect those cables to be based on begin point and end point, we can use some assumptions and then some very few points along the way to verify that that's probably where this cable is going through. Yes, it was very, very interesting approach actually. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. And congratulations once again uh, from the whole uh, IARC uh, community, not just the executive committee or the board of directors, but really everybody, congratulations. And uh, we look forward to see more of your best papers uh, in the coming ISACs. Um, Thank you. Then the, the second best paper, sorry, uh, that we would like to award today is from our colleagues from Japan, um, led by uh, Mr. Ajime Sagagami. Um, I think he's here today, so he will be able to say a few words. Uh, and this is for their paper on the design and construction of a shell-shaped bench using a 3D printer for construction. Um, we found this paper presented really an innovative composite structure where there is an outer part that is laminated with mortar, uh, exclusively uh, shaped from 3D printers, and an inner part that is filled with ultra high strength 
fiber reinforced concrete as a substitute for reinforcing bars. Um, and they conducted a lot of lab experiments, but they also eventually uh, built a seven meter long shell shaped bench that was successfully manufactured uh, using the composite material uh, and also some topology optimization algorithms. Um, and the result is uh, really excellent. And uh, they showed that they were able to build this real life structure without any formwork. Um, so congratulations to all of you. And uh, if one of you is online, which uh, I believe Ajime Sakagami maybe is here. Yes, Hi. yes, you're here. Hi. Can you, can you hear me? Yes. Ah, so, thank you for the introduction. My name is Hajime Sakagami. I belong to Obayashi Corporation, a Japanese construction company. I'm very honored to receive the Best Paper Award. Uh, I'd like to more further effort to proceed with my research. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And once again, congratulations to you and your, and your colleagues. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, finally, um, the overall best paper, and that was by consensus for the whole committee, uh, is awarded this year uh, to, here you go, uh, next one, here you go, to Mr. Aturalde um, for, and actually not just him, but Mr. Aturalde in, in, in a, a large team of people who work collaboratively on an EU project, and really this paper presents um, uh, the, the, the result of their project, which is excellent. It's a cable driven parallel robot with a modular and effector for the installation of curtain wall modules. Um, I think it's not just the design that is interesting, it's actually they manufactured uh, and field implemented all the cable uh, driven parallel robot, which is um, very impressive. If you are interested to know more, there is actually a website presenting this and a fantastic video demonstrating the robot in action. I actually believe it's even going to be put in place now uh, somewhere, is it in Spain maybe, uh, on an actual uh, project where it will be uh, uh, tested, well, not tested, actually used to build a facade. Uh, Mr. Atualde, I think Kepa, you're here on, with us and we'll yes. hear a few words from you. Uh, thank you, Frederick, for the presentation. Thank you, the, the whole, um, ISAR committee for organizing the, the symposium. And thank you, of course, um, for selecting us the best paper. Currently, now we are at one of the demonstration sites uh, testing the cable robot. It's, this is the second demonstration. And as I said, um, we must also thank the, the European Commission because it's funding this uh, project. Uh, the project is, uh, we are seven partners in the consortium. Um, together here with me um, is uh, also Mr. Julian Astudillo, which, who is the coordinator of the project. And currently we are now just uh, testing some new features that we couldn't write it down on the paper and maybe on the next, uh, as a next step, we should, we should um, write it down somewhere as well. Okay, so thank, thank you, you all for all. I think, I think it's the first time ever we have a paper awardee, uh, you know, reaching us out from a construction site. I think it's really appropriate. It's really excellent. Um, and once again, congratulations to you and the rest of the team for the work you have done. It was really uh, very impressive. I, I, I look forward to see many more of those robots used on facade construction across Europe and the rest of the world. Thank you very much. Yes. Thanks to you. Thank you, congratulations. And that closes the um, uh, Best Paper Award uh, ceremony. Um, Johan, do you wish me to uh, now congratulate one last time, uh, Professor Jiangwon Kim. Uh, Jiangwon Kim is a recipient this year of the Tucker Azegawa uh, Award. Uh, for those of you who were not attending the opening ceremony, um, the Turker Azegao Award is named after two illustrious IAC founders and board members of the IAC organization. And these uh, people are Dr. Richard Tucker from the USA and Dr. Yukio, Yukio sorry, Azegawa from Japan. Um, 
And the intent of the prestigious Tarka Azegar Award is to recognize individuals from academia or industry who have made major distinguished and sustained contributions to the field of automation robotics in construction. Um, we're very pleased to award um, this uh, award, sorry, to young one this year. Um, and you can see on the uh, slides that he shared with you that there are particular areas uh, of his work that we wanted to highlight, um, four of them actually. So the first and foremost area is the work is done on computer vision applied to the extraction of valuable information from construction images. He has also done some interesting work on data analysis for the understanding and prediction of project performance. Um, and then he has done some really exciting service work to the community. Um, he has been director general of AEESEAP. I'm not sure if there's a better way to pronounce this, um, but this is a um, UNESCO organization for the promotion of engineering education uh, in the Southeast Asia and the Pacific region. Uh, and this is really uh, great. He's been involved in this. And finally, for his service for IARC, uh, because he has been vice president symposium for many years, uh, and in fact contributed as a board of director member before that, uh, and he's also been uh, the organizer of uh, ISARC in Seoul uh, many moons ago. I can remember the exact year now, uh, but I believe that must have been one, if not the largest ISARC uh, that we have ever organized in terms of uh, attendance uh, and the number of papers presented. So once again, Jongwon, uh, on behalf of you know the whole of IARC, uh, congratulations for receiving this uh, prestigious Tucker Zegar Award. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. I already said my uh, thank you speech in the beginning session of this conference, but you gave me this another opportunity. It's truly an honor for me to have this award. And as I said before, through the ISARG and IR, I have become who I am today. So I'm very grateful to every member of IARC. And if I may mention just one person in particular, his heart has that I need to be forever grateful to. And ever since I became a professor in year 2002, I came to realize that how much generosity and patience and love he must have had for me. And it's just amazing how much he taught me. And so I'm forever indebted to Carl. Of course, this award doesn't just mean that I've done something. It also means that I can do better. So I'll try to do better for Isaiah and IR. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Kim. Um, and I believe that closes now the presentation of awards uh, by me. And Johan, I, I give you the floor back. Well, thank you, Fred. Uh, congratulations to all the award winners. Um, um, the last but not least thing we need to do is to pass over, like Professor Tatayama mentioned, the, uh, the scepter to the, to the next host, which will be the United Arab Emirates. And um, we have uh, uh, just a, a slide and a video to that. Um, and um, the website they actually have posted is already online. So um, you can actually go there. Um, as you know, uh, things change over time. So frequently go back and visit, but it will be sometime in October, uh, early November. There will be an exciting event of the, the hackathon uh, where students will be sponsored to participate. To some extent, um, there will be VIP tours and visitor tours, the conference or the symposium by itself, gala dinner. We hope all of this will happen in the UAE. Um, and um, yeah, I, I wanna quickly share this video. It's not long, it's I think three minutes long and that should pretty much then end the closing ceremony this year. I will say just a couple of words on, on that afterwards, uh, great. If this works or not, let me just one second. I have to probably start this video outside sometimes. I'm not sure if you can actually hear the video, uh, the sound. Can you, if you yeah, just we, tell we me? can hear it, yeah. It's fine. My name is Suhail Al-Mazroui. I'm the new Minister of 
energy and infrastructure after the reshuffling of the two ministries in the United Arab Emirates. On behalf of the United Arab Emirates, I would like to thank and congratulate Japan for hosting ISARC 2020 under these extraordinary circumstances of fighting COVID-19. I also would like to thank and congratulate IARC for all of their excellent work in coordinating this conference. Next year is a very special year for us in the United Arab Emirates. We will be celebrating our 50th anniversary. During those 50 years, we have built our country on the highest standards. And today, we are very pleased to see that our infrastructure is ranked among the best in the world. Next year as well, will mark our readiness and preparation for the next 50 years. We are a nation that are used to plan and plan well. During the next 50 years, we are eminent to strive to be the best in the world, especially in the infrastructure. We will be applying and deploying the fourth industrial revolution technologies in our infrastructure. AI, Internet of Things, robotics are going to be critical elements in our future. As a regulator, we have developed certain strategies related to the AI and to the 3D printing and the deployment of these technologies in the infrastructure. We believe that we are fully aligned with the aspiration of organizations like IARC. It gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to Dubai next year to participate at ISARC 2021 under the theme of Tomorrow is Today, co-creating the future of infrastructure 5.0. That's it from my side. Can I uh, add a few words then, just before everybody leave? Um, Johan, uh, and actually all the organizers of uh, ISAC 2021 in Japan, in Denmark with you, and in India, um, I would like to thank you um, on behalf of the whole of our community for the work you have done. Um, I believe came the new year this year. Uh, we were started to think that there were a chance, well, I think it was in February, we were starting to think there was a chance ISAC might go online. There was a lot, there's a lot, so much that has happened since. And uh, you pulled this uh, together in the end, and I think it's been a great success. And we learned a lot from it, that's for sure. Um, I think this is fantastic outcome. Uh, I would like to thank you very much for the work you have done. Um, naturally, you couldn't do that, just you, all of you. There were lots of people that have done some contributions like the board of directors and all other reviewers who have put some efforts uh, into reviewing the papers and helping us selecting what we thought were the most appropriate papers for presenting in ISAC. And naturally I'd like to thank all the authors who have submitted to ISAC and I hope will continue to submit to ISAC and all those of you who have also been presenters uh, and have been able to uh, compress your presentation in eight minutes, which by the way, I thought was actually quite good. It makes you go to the point and, and I thought it turned out quite well. Um, and for those of you who had to do it at difficult hours of the day, uh, we very much appreciate uh, your commitment to this. I think Johan, you said you only had 19 missing presentation. I actually think that's quite good, isn't it? It's, it's really, uh, it's fairly positive. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, and with all this, um, I would like to, close this uh, closing ceremony 
uh, and obviously uh, we will all see uh, uh, each other at ISAC 2021. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to be there uh, face to face, but I should highlight from the organizers who have given us a really detailed presentation during the IAC Board of Directors that they are fully ready to uh, support uh, not just an online conference, but actually most likely some hybrid conference where people will be able to follow sessions both physically in Dubai and remotely from wherever they are. So, um, you know, we learned a lot. I think they did learn themselves from this experience. And uh, I think it's going to be an exciting event. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fred. And everybody have a nice day, evening or morning. Uh, enjoy and see you soon. Bye-bye.